Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Geometries in ComSol Multiphysics. In previous videos, we have covered how to create different shapes in ComSol Multiphysics by using different options available in this software. Today, we will be talking about how to create a helical channel in ComSol. Uh, this helical channel has a research significance because in microfluidics we generally come across those channels because it is very useful for making a smooth flow inside the channel. So let us just look at what we are going to do. So we are going to do this kind of helical channels. I will not create the entire shape here because our Today's video's target is to create this helical shape only and that's why I will be focusing on creating this portion. Other things you can do it. If not, you can write it in the comment box and I will be making another video. So initially, let us go to geometry. We have already chosen micrometer as unit. Now I right click on it. Initially, I create a rectangle. This rectangle is the periphery. So you can just visualize whenever we create a micro channel that is housed on a stage. So this rectangle is the mimic of you can say the stage. So let us put the width 100 and say height around 50. I click on build object so it creates this particular section geometry. Now we have to go to sketch and we have to take polygon. So I start with the point say 10 comma 10. You look at this cursor whenever you are hovering through these cursors are moving that indicates the coordinate. So this is very easy to track the coordinate. Now I am at 10 comma 10. So I click on here. I start from it. I go say up to 25 I go. So this is 25. I click on it. Then I come back up to 30, again click here, then again come back to 10 and again we go up to 50, here is the 50 option. Again we click here. There is a little difference because I have created here but it is not an issue, you can just make a channel out of it. So again I go to say up to 70. I come back again up to 90. I stop here. So this is the periodic structure we have created. Now for making a channel we have to take another polygon say after two unit distance each there is uh, small boxes so each small box indicates the distance, it's like, it's like a graph paper. So we choose a two unit distance, I click here. So we are maintaining a two unit distance everywhere. We are trying to maintain. So we stop here. So we have created this geometry. We can, uh, what we can do is we can close this mouth. So this one, let us just close it because it would be a micro channel ultimately. That's why let us close it this part and this part. So this could be the output or outlet and this could be uh, something went wrong. I, we have to click on it then come to the other point again click on it and then leave it then it will create the line now we are done with a channel kind but the thing is the corners are not yet fillet actually the option is fillet the corner corners are not yet curly we have to make a curly corner and that's why I right click on geometry and I choose option fillet so initially I choose the outer points outer points means on the above line whatever corner points I have I click on that those points 
and you have to choose a radius for the time being say we are choosing 4 I click on build yeah now the outer portion you can see the curly type has already come we have to take another fillet for the inner section so I choose those points say these are the points which are to be filleted so we choose all the points and say I create the radius say 8 8 is becoming maximum so what we can do is we can make it 6 you can see it is the helix is created uh, but the thing is the curvature is different in both the cases you can play around we can make the other one 3 or let us make it 6 also yeah now you can see there are curvatures created so uh, you have to look at one thing uh, here I mean the smoothness of the turns the smoothness is very important uh, because you may uh, I mean say this one is like this very smooth but this one I mean as the corner point is different so the curvature will be different so if you want to make a similar curvature or, or the curvature having a same center or uh, radius of cent uh, radius then what you need to do you need to play around with this curvature so the curvature 2 might be or curvature 1 so you have to play around it in order to make a smooth one so you can just change this ratio and you can or you can obviously do a quick calculation for these curvatures let us just see once so initially let us make it 3 so if I make it 3 it is becoming like this and if it is 6 this is like this ok so this, you can see this is very smooth here because this is 6 but this is I mean the difference is very high so if you make this one also 6 now see you maintain a similarity between this ok you can make the channel closer also so that will create a better channel but this video was for learning purpose and that's why I have not focused on it I have only focused on how to create the edges curved I mean how, how you can make a curve out of the sharp edge so I guess this video was helpful we will be creating more videos uh, meanwhile I request you to subscribe to my channel for more updates we are also doing courses on vector algebra engineering mathematics will come so please uh, support us thank you